Hi everyone, welcome back to Pro Tools Music Production Lessons here at Educator.com. Time Operations. In this lesson we will talk about a great feature in Pro Tools called Identify Beat. We will learn about time operations under Event Menu and go over those options where we have under Time Operations. Learning these options can really help you how to prepare your session in Pro Tools based on your arrangements in the beginning as well as provide some options to make even changes later on on your sessions. So let's go ahead and talk about identified beat first. Since we call uh, this entire course music production, uh, part, of the, part of the process in the music production sometimes we receive and send files, import and export. And when we do these kind of uh, operations, sometimes we receive files and we don't have a tempo information. So basically we need to go calculate and find out what they are. So I have one or two examples here in this uh, situation that we can talk about um, to be able to find uh, the tempo information that I have not been given. So let's go ahead and start it. I have first of all the groove right here. Uh, it's a nice cool R&B funk type of groove. Let's listen to it. the click. That's my default tempo 120 when you open a Pro Tools file, a new blank session. Uh, it's going to always get the default of 120. It's not matching clearly so we need to do a couple of steps to be able to uh, get the time info tempo information actually. The very first one we really need to do is um, enable the conductor on the transport so if you don't have the transport on bring bring it up here or just command numeric one turn on and off so as you see the conductor here is in um, disabled at this moment when we go to the identify beat which is under event you will see uh, uh, it grayed out and if you apply the uh, shortcut it won't come out to be able to do that, we need to enable the conductor first. And that's the first thing we do. The second thing we do is we're already on slip. It's a good thing. I think it's like right here. That's my second beat. Okay. So wherever I basically cut that, I need to separate that spot right here. Good. So let's go ahead and select Command 4 to get the grabber. There are a couple of ways to get it, of course. Let's see if it's selected well. It's loop, it loops great. As long as I have that, I mean, of course, let's get out of the click for a second. <laughs> I was just listening to Perfect. So what we need to do, go to event menu, bring up the identify beat, just right here three because it's a two bars, doesn't matter the other number so don't worry about the ticks and stuff so much. I have a new tempo right here. Let's turn the click on. Perfect. So this is 107.8201. I think <laughs> this is a little complicated BPM. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and disable the conductor and type in a new session tempo as 108. It's really close to 108. Press return. That's my new, new play. Yes, it works perfect. 